am greeted with a hostile press, the likes of which no president has ever seen. They come at you with the most horrible, horrendous, biased questions. And you see it, 94 or 95 percent of the press is hostile. They treat me so unfairly, it's hard to believe that I won. We're now looking at the worst president in American history. The worst president in American history. The worst president in modern history. This era we're in with Donald Trump, it's like the gates of hell have been opened. We thought Emperor Nero was wrong to fiddle as Rome burned. This guy's worse. He's been an abomination. What a poor excuse for a president. This moral monster. What a poor excuse for a man. What a pathetic, sniveling little man our president is. What a poor excuse for a human being. He's unfit to be human. I believe this man is capable of... of horrific, horrific deeds. This vile, immoral, corrupt, indecent, dangerous, intellectually unfit president is a danger to all of us. It's not really in serious dispute anymore that President Trump is not up to this job. The president has been inept from the start. This president uh, has, has basically uh, failed the American public. How badly uh, is he failing right now? Do you think to date, in the last six months, he has damaged the credibility of the office of the presidency? Homicidal negligence of the President of the United States. There is death after death after death that is on the President's watch. He has blood on his hands. Our President has blood on his hands. Blood on his hands. Rivers of blood on his hands. More people are dead and dying in America tonight because Donald Trump is President. All right, so today the question being asked, is President Trump a racist? Is President Trump a racist? We have a racist president. We have a racist as a president. We have a, a man-child who is deranged and racist in this office. You don't have a president, as you said, talking about exterminating right. Latinos. It almost feels like a little ethnic cleansing is going on in the United States right now. People say, well, I'm not sure President Trump is racist. Well, racist is as racist does. No, he is a racist. He is a racist. Can we just say it once and for all? Anyone who is in that White House and who is supporting him is complicit in their racism as well. To people who look like me, it's about imminent danger. When I see the Make America Great Again hat now, Chris, I am triggered. I'm so triggered. This Make America Great Again hat is just as maddening and frustrating and triggering for me to look at as a KKK hood. This president, Donald John Trump, has instigated a race war in America. When he said today, America first, it was not just the racial, I mean, the, I should say racial, the Hitlerian uh, background to it. America first is really white America first. That is just the emboldening of white bigotry by a white nationalist, white supremacist presidency. It carries with it overtones from the 1930s. The words themselves carry very ugly echoes in our history. Is it appropriate to ask whether the president is having difficulty with rationality? It, it, it's, it's crazy what we're watching every day. Yeah. It's absolutely crazy. People in European governments uh, think that Trump has lost his mind. It is That's possible it. that he's m mentally ill in a way. It's almost like being in, 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 in the ward of a, of a mental hospital half the time. We're, we're getting the ramifications um, as a nation of what having a sick man in the White House means. I don't believe him sane. Flatly. I don't think he's a stable person. He is unstable. He's not well. I saw this as a as a psychotically incoherent speech with cookies and dog poop. Do you think there's any part of him that's capable of shame? I can't feel normal human emotions. I don't think he's capable of the basic empathies that we feel as human beings, and that's what a sociopath is. This is what happens when you elect a sociopath as president. This is somebody in deep psychological distress right now, self-pitying, insecure, angry. The president, described as volcanic, seething tonight. The president went ballistic. NBC News has learned the president became unglued this week. Get real! Come on! We, we talk about the... He's nuts and we're in the middle of it! Well, I, Chris, I think that uh, that address probably should have come with a, a Surgeon General's warning. It was hazardous to the truth. How can anyone see this as unifying when he is spewing out lies? to the American people, I don't know there was lying. A, do, do you think journalists are going to look back years from now and regret not doing even more to speak out about this lying and deceit? I think some journalists will. It's just an astounding blizzard of lies. Blizzard of lies? Blizzard of lies. From the President of the United States. He lies every minute. He changes his story second to second. You're facing a fertilizer spreader in a windstorm. Start from that premise. He's a liar. We should fact check him backwards, maybe. See if anything he's telling us is true. Trump and some of his allies are promoting a hate movement 
against the American press. He is really trying to incite violence against reporters. How else can you interpret mm. it? If he could arrest us tomorrow, let me ask you a question. Do you think he would arrest us tomorrow? Because if you say he wouldn't, you're just lying to yourself. It's a grotesque abuse of power by the President of the United States. This is the kind of thing that goes on in non-democracy. Let's be frank, a national nightmare is upon us. The country has a president who operates as an outlaw. This president is a criminal, a thief and a liar. A grifter, like a mob boss. How strange is it for you to sit here and compare the president to a mob boss? While he's technically exonerated from a crime, is he exonerated from his behavior? Is President Trump out Nixony Nixon? The president is a Russian operative. America's president sided with its enemy today. That sounds like the description of a bad Hollywood screenplay, but it is real. No president has ever been charged with treason, Douglas. Do, do you believe the president's actions fall anywhere within that definition? That would be treason, right? The spirit of what Trump did is clearly treasonous. To believe that the president isn't compromised requires such a leap of faith. All he had to do was not, you know, put on jammies and crawl under the covers with Vladimir Putin, and he couldn't do that. Biggest winner, Vladimir Putin. He basically took over the United States and got himself a Manchurian candidate. What does Putin have on him? What does Putin have on Trump? What does Putin have on what, what does, does Putin, Putin have, have on Trump? Trump? We don't know, I think, if Putin is his handler, his hero, or his co-conspirator, but that's obviously where his loyalty lies. Trump's authoritarian tendencies are on full display. Donald Trump is an authoritarian of the first order. A increasingly authoritarian president who is a danger for all of us. The right-wing media's dear leader. Toxic dear leader. Wannabe dictator. Dime store slurring Mussolini. The Trump administration has been copying the wrong Korea. Open your eyes, America. Open your eyes. We are teetering on a dictatorship. Authoritarian leaders tend to get reelected because they are willing to improperly abuse the power of the government they control to keep themselves in power. This would be the end of America. If this is what we're going to be, this won't be a democracy. That's a monarchy. He's functionally a monarch. I want to start using the word fascist. Yeah, he's a fascist. And if yeah. the party nominates uh, Hitler, are you going to vote for him? Many tendencies like Adolf Hitler. Yeah. I said it, throw me off the air. Increasingly, Donald Trump is turning this nation into Nazi Germany. Does this look like Germany in 1933? We're getting close. That is exactly why Donald Trump is compared to Hitler. I, I hate comparing Trump to Hitler because Hitler could concentrate for more than 30 seconds and had normal-sized human hands. Trump no doubt learned from any number of authoritarian leaders over the last 90 years. Ataturk, Franco, Mussolini, Stalin, and Hitler. One thing we're not is the opposition. We're not the opposition party. We are just trying to get at the truth. When you see um, entire media companies essentially exist to tear down Joe Biden, is there an equivalent to that on the left tearing down Trump? Uh, there, there really isn't. That is absolutely true, Mr. President. And let me tell you this, guys. With your help, we can beat social media. We can beat the media because we have the greatest fighter in the history of this country and president.